Hi everybody, thank you for watching. I'm waiting for my Chipotle to get here. I am so hungry. I purposely didn't eat breakfast today because I wanted to do a mukbang for you guys. sitting on my floor in my bedroom um, because I figured this will be maybe a better setup so you could see the food. So I'm trying to be extra careful. These dogs are not good. So we have some chips and guac, obviously. When I order, I don't normally order this much stuff. Um, but for the sake of the video, we got ooh, no napkins. What did we get? Yeah. Mm. We got chicken quesadilla, tomato salsa, corn salsa, sour cream. Let me just take a quick bite of that. Mm -hmm. Ever since I've been home from Italy, I've been drinking the aquapana water. In a glass bottle so it's better for the environment and it's actually cheaper than essential which is crazy three veggie tacos i'm gonna come closer veggie tacos we got the fajita veggies um cheese corn salsa sour cream i literally never got one of these in my life it is so big it's like bigger than my head it's a burrito with the sofritas which i think is veggie I figured I would try it. So free. What is this? Who can eat this much? Okay. Mmm. Mmm. It's actually really good. Brown rice, veggies, lettuce, corn, sofritas. So I'm gonna answer some questions, some burning questions that you guys had. I always scroll down to the first one because that's just how I do things. Denise Lopez would like to know, do you miss being pregnant? I don't miss being pregnant. Although I had a very easy pregnancy, um, it was a rough time. So I do not miss being pregnant. Do I want more kids in the future? Yes. Well, did I mind being pregnant? No. How my pregnancy went, if I knew it was gonna be like that every time, as far as how I personally felt, I would have like four or five kids. So I feel like that didn't really clarify. What I meant was when I was pregnant, I wasn't sick. I had an easy pregnancy as far as how I personally felt, but my emotional state of being because of what I was going through in my personal life externally, I would not want to go through again. I love the corn. It's so good. Savannah B wants to know, are you dating or wanting to date? Um, no, I'm not dating anybody. Um, I forget who I was talking to about this, but it's really hard dating, um, in 2023. I mean, I don't know how people do it. Um, why does this look like someone dug into this already? That way, it looks like there was a chip in there. Oh, um, I don't know. Like, where are you supposed to meet people? This time around, I'm going to be very, very picky, and I feel like in general it's hard finding a good guy to date now, but then when you add like the things that are like necessities for me the next time around, I just don't really know where I'm going to find anyone. So I guess I'm really hoping that you guys can hook a sister up because I have pretty much given up at this point. If you guys know anyone, slide into my DMs because... It's, it's rough out here. I was talking to my friends and we were like joking around saying we, were, we should do a bachelor or the bachelorette for my YouTube channel and help me find that guy. Tokyo Julia wants to know what's your absolute favorite skincare item that you've used for at least a year or more? Um... I would say my face wash, I'm like obsessed with. It's been about a year. It's SkinCeuticals. 
I feel like my skin is the best it's been in forever. I did the Avi Clear treatment with Dr. Kaga and it was about a year ago that I did the first session. And I can honestly say my skin looks the best that it's looked and I actually wanted to give her like a shout out on Instagram because um, I'm just so happy with the results. So I will link this, the face wash below for anyone interested. Emanuela wants to know, what's a dream you always had that's coming to fruition? Huh. Funny you should ask. Um, I know I posted something about the beauty bible and for everyone to go sign up for um, the newsletter. In about a month, I will do my official announcement video to show what it is that I'm coming out with. It's been a dream of mine for my entire life, basically, and I cannot believe that it's finally here. I put so much time and love into this project and I just know you guys are going to be so obsessed. It is just a dream come true and literally a month from now it'll be launching so stay tuned. So this girl asked me anonymous but she said how do you deal with being the only single friend sometimes? I'm in the same boat. Um, What are you going to do? All of my friends pretty much are either married or in a relationship. I don't I think I have like one single friend that I could think of off the top of my head. And I'm not gonna lie, like it's not the best thing in the world. Um, but I mean, I also just know that I am not gonna settle just to be in a relationship with someone or just to get married. Um, I think like in my position, it's even harder. Luckily, I have such a great friend group and we have the best times when we're together and it's not like it's like couples you know, off doing their thing, like it's all of us together. Um, but again, I just feel like, don't compare yourself to other people. I know it's hard and like it's what people do all the time, but I do believe that there's a time and a person for everybody. So I will be patient and eventually I won't be the only single one, but for now, guess what? I still have a great time with my friends and I have my baby, I have my pets, I have my family, and I really never feel alone. I'm very blessed. Flux Flow wants to know, are you ever planning on cutting your hair or changing it? I get this question all the time and I feel like this is one of my biggest struggles. Sorry, I'm like not eating. Um, so, I really wanna do layers in my hair again like I used to have, but I did buy a share costume that I wanna do for Halloween. So I feel like I'm gonna wait to do the share costume for Halloween and then maybe I'll like go a little crazy and get some shorter layers. But as far as the length, I'm keeping it. I've not had to wear extensions in years and anyone that has hair this long like me will tell you the same thing that it takes so long to get to this place and the thought of like cutting it off. I'm not young, I'm gonna be 33. So like my hair will never grow back to this length if I wanted it to. I just feel like when you're younger, your hair has a better chance of growing back. So I get it, I'm boring, I've had the same hair forever, but I also have really, really long, thick, healthy hair, and it's just not as easy to switch up my look all the time, like other people that are wearing extensions all the time and can like make an easier transition. Um, I feel like I would not look good with any other hair color, like I would do highlights again, but I just love my long hair, it's like my safety blanket, so. Layers, yes, but I do want to do my share Halloween look first. I know you're tired of hearing this, but are the lip liners ever coming back from Marlene? First of all, I am never tired of hearing these questions because the, the more you ask these questions, the more it makes me decide that I am going to do what you are asking me to do. So yes, they are coming back, but better than ever, and this time, my own brand, baby. So just wait, because you have no idea what's coming. You guys are gonna flip. I think Brenzi just woke up. Eva wants to know, did you get the bartender's phone number in Positano? <laughs> you guys are cra cracking me up. Um, I did. He was so sweet. Literally the nicest guy. Christina wants to know, what do you find true joy in? Take away all materialistic things. Love you. Um, the first thing, I have a little bit lower though. True joy is walking into my son's room in the morning or after his nap and just seeing his beautiful face light up. Like I've never felt more love in my entire life. Like this little boy is the absolute joy of my life. 
we, he just started cuddling longer than like three minutes. Like we cuddle for almost an hour every morning and every night. And like, that is when I'm at true peace. And I honestly mean that. Like I have never felt more at peace than when I'm with him. So on that note, let me go grab him because I hear that he's awake. Um, I'm gonna shut the door so Candy doesn't eat this food, but I'll be right back. Speaking of what I just was talking about, let's go get my baby. Oh, What'd you do? Oh, yeah, poopy. You did poopy? <gasps> oh no. After I was just raving about you. Candy, get down. Yeah. What just happened, Renz? Come here. What'd you do? Want to tell everyone? Yeah. What'd you do? I off. You, you took your diaper off? Yeah. And you peed all over your crib? Yeah. And there was poop in there too? Yeah. Why'd you do that? I did you, Mama. But you know if you do that, that means you're ready for the potty. No. That means you're going to go poop in the potty. No. Yep. No. Yep. No. You're bad. Want some guacamole? Yeah. No, no, no. no, no, no what, no, no, corn? Yeah, no. You want the quesadilla? Yeah. It's a little spicy, I think. Yeah. It's okay? Yeah. Candy, no, no, baby. I am dead. I feel like I just jinxed myself because that's never happened. Yeah. And I walked in, and he was like, oh, no. And I go, I turn the light on, and yeah. So, you're bad. That's not funny. I love. You want some guacamole? Yeah. Lorenzo oh, Steven. What are we going to do with you? I love you, Mama. I love you, too, Lorenzo. <laughs> <clears throat> I know. You want some? Here, have a bite. I'm like almost full. That quesadilla burrito. The burrito is pretty good. Oops. Oh, you're all done. Oh, oh. wow. Good catch, Mommy. I know we're almost done. Okay. Kim WLL wants to know, do you think you'll eventually stop YouTube and only do short content? <laughs> No. 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 Right? It hurt my heart. Lorenzo, say no. 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 <laughs> I know. Yeah. 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 I am definitely upping my short content game, but I don't think I'll ever get rid of YouTube. I hope YouTube doesn't yeah, go away. Yeah, yeah. Even though I feel like everybody that I meet, um, when I'm out and stuff, they're all like, more TikTok, more TikTok, more short content. Um. I just feel like YouTube was my original and I, of course, if everyone, if people still want to watch, like I will be on YouTube, so. Wow. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Nicole M. Prioto <laughs> wants to know, if you were running out of the house, what is the one thing that you do to pull yourself together? Yeah. Hair, mascara, or lip? Wow. So, my biggest thing is lip liner, like lip liner and like a little brow gel and I'm good to go. That's pretty much my everyday makeup routine. Um, and then like chapstick. I know you just said one thing, yeah. but I think lips, to be honest. I don't know why. I just feel like the lips make me feel more put together. It used to be brows, but now it's lips. Is that good? <laughs> Nisha wants to know, if you had a time machine, what's one moment you'd go back to relive in a heartbeat? Yeah! Oh. Uh, uh, Honestly, like giving birth was the best day ever, but it was so scary because I never did it before. Renzi, when I had you, at, when you came out of my belly. Yeah. Do you know you came from mommy's belly? You know you were inside mommy's belly? Yeah. Yeah? Was it fun in there? Did you have fun in mommy's belly? You did. <laughs> Come here. Oof! <laughs> um... I think because I was just so nervous and scared, um, it was hard to like really be in the moment. So like if I could go back and like maybe not relive it, I mean I'd relive it, but like to be like a fly on the wall and like to re to re go to go through that again, I think that would be really really cool. Um, obviously, any moment with my dad would be amazing to relive because we just celebrated three years since he passed away, which it's freaking wild that it's been three years. I was watching a bunch of old videos and listening to some voicemails that I still have saved from him. And it, he's just missed so much and I know he's with me and I know he sees everything, but I would do anything to relive another day, no matter what it was. We just had the best time when we were together doing literally everything. 
Enzima. Can I have that, please? No. Can you bring that to me? No. The lighting's probably all messed up, but whatever. Ooh, Miranda. Miranda wants to know if you could hang out with someone famous for one day, who would it be? Yeah. No questions asked. Taylor Swift. That's my girl. Yeah. I hope to meet her one day. That's like a dream of mine. I just love her so much, and I'm so happy to see how amazing she's still doing after all these years. Like, I have loved her since her first album. So, definitely Taylor Swift. I'm already full. I had a taco, some quesadilla. I don't know. I don't eat, like, huge. I eat, like, multiple times a day, but, like, smaller portions. I'm not a big, um, like, a binge eater, but obviously for the sake of the video, yeah. I ordered a bunch. Um, I'll share this with everybody later. Mmm. Shannon wants to know what's your favorite thing about Lorenzo, if you had to pick just one. Come here, my little empathetic, empathic baby boy. <laughs> I love his heart. He's the sweetest boy in the whole world. Something funny about him. Can you say Spider-Man? <clears throat> say Spider-Man. Spicy. Let me see your tongue. Let me wipe it. Mm. Which one? Do you want to try this? Want more guac? Mm. Spicy. Say it. Puffa man. Puffa man. Puffa. Renzo, what's your name? No, she's Jack. No, she's Jack. <laughs> Who's that in that picture? Who's that in that picture? You. You. Okay, so he thinks his name is you because I always would point at pictures and be like, look, it's you. So whenever I point at a picture, he's like, that's you. And I'm like, no, that's Renzo, right? It's Renzo. Yeah. Say Renzo. Renzo. Yeah. Renzo. And then um, we actually went to the park the other day and we got all the way there. And I realized I forgot his shoes. Normally I have like five pairs of shoes in the car, but I had just gone to car wash. And I was like, screw it. I don't care because it has like a padded ground. And like there's been times where he's just taking his shoes off anyway. So I'm like, we're still going to the park. I'm not going all the way home. So <laughs> um, we were there playing around and I was like, is your name No Shoes Jack? So what's your name? No Shoes Jack. <laughs> so now he calls himself No Shoes Jack. So cute. He's just so sweet and innocent. I love how well behaved he is and he's just like really the best boy in the world and I know I'm probably biased and I know I'm his mom but like when I tell you like the softest heart and he's so sweet with other kids and babies and I can keep going. Want me to keep going? I just love him so much. <clears throat> Shannon Bowen wants to know tips for losing body fat. You are snatched. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I've been working out as a personal trainer for, we started about like six months before Renzi's first birthday. So I'm really bad at math, but almost two years. It took about two years to get back to my pre-pregnancy weight. Um, are you spinning out the corn? No. You don't like it? No. Um, just staying consistent in the gym. I feel like I'm working out now more than I ever have in my life. Um, we do like CrossFit workouts and the whole time I complain because it's super intense. But like I said, I have never seen results like I have while working out with this trainer. Um, I used to go to the gym, but I just feel like oh, I, yeah. I feel like I need someone guiding me. Otherwise, like I don't do things properly. Come here. Ooh, would you touch the sour cream? So having a trainer has been super helpful. Obviously that's not realistic for everybody, but I know they have you know, YouTube videos and stuff like that for um, personal training. And I will film a video to show you guys like an example of a workout that we do. So stay tuned. I already asked them and they said that they'd be down for it. My cousin also cooks for me now. So she makes my healthy meals, which makes it so much easier. So I'm not always ordering out. I was ordering out a lot. I am Zia Mara says, mom guilt when leaving for travel, leaving the baby for two days in November and feeling guilty already. Um, of course, uh, mom guilt's a real thing, and I do feel like I have traveled, you know, a decent amount at this point, and, um, the way me and Anthony have our schedule is he has Lorenzo, we have breakfast together Sunday, and then he has until Tuesday morning, so that's been that way for a while now, so I'm already not with Lorenzo for two nights of the week, which obviously was really, really hard in the beginning, and I had crazy mom guilt, um, but... 
I know that it's what's best for my son. So, um, and I think you having some time for yourself is also really important because then it's just going to make you a better mom when you come home after those two days. Your baby's going to be fine. He's going to miss you. He'll probably cry when you leave. But I always FaceTime and... The second I leave, he cries for a minute, and then I always get the text like, he's fine, he stopped crying, and he's happy as can be. So, give yourself the time that you need. He, he or she is going to be just fine, and of course, you're probably going to end up feeling guilty, but just know, again, like I said, if you have more time for yourself to do the things that you love or to have a little vacation, like, take the time. You deserve it. Where did you get your outfits from Italy? Month after April wants to know. I actually just linked everything on my video, so if you want to go back and check it. Stephanie wants to know, are you and Brett still in contact? I actually reached out to him the other day because I asked if he wanted to refilm the yoga challenge with me just for fun because why the hell not? So let me know if you guys want to see it. He said he'd be down, um, so I got to just schedule some time to film that. I think that would be really fun. Should we do it? Let me know. Comment below. All right, Renzi, one more, one more question. Yeah. Caitlin wants to know, how's your house coming along and your favorite parts? So it is slowly coming along. I am loving every minute of it. It is definitely stressful and a lot of work, but I'm really enjoying it because this, I hope, will be my forever home. So I really don't want to rush it this time. I really wanted to take my time, and I feel like my design style has evolved since my previous house. Um, so I'm actually going to do an updated home tour and show you guys some of the new updates because there's been a lot that's been going on and my new couch comes next week too. So maybe I'll wait for that to film it for next week because it comes Wednesday. I'm so excited. So I'll give you guys a little update tour next week. Okay, this is going to be my last question. I just saw it. I was, that was going to be my last one, but this will be my last one. Um, my fall Starbucks order. So I haven't gotten this in so long, but just reading that made me remember... Um, from Lindsay, by the way. Hi. Um, I used to order an ice venti soy chai. Obviously, you guys probably know that. But if you get two pumps of pumpkin spice in it, huh, thank me later. Okay, so I think that's it for now. I am full. I've been rambling on. Lorenzo's opening all my drawers and doing God knows what. So come say bye. Bye. Come over here and say bye with, me with my friends. Can you say bye? Bye. Bye, friends. Say, I love you. I love you. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Lorenzo, thank you for being the best boy in the whole world. What's that? That yes. is? Yeah. What shape is this? What shape is this? Circle. Circle. Good job. I've been teaching him shapes. He's just the best. I love you guys. I hope you have the best day. Thank you for watching. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. Say bye-bye. Wave bye-bye. Bye-bye. Little kiss. Mwah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take Yeah. Bye-bye. 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 Mmm, good. You like it? No? Here, spit it out.